Have you ever wondered about the most bizarre and shocking markets around the world? Imagine stepping into a market where human body parts are sold as charms, or another where people trade in mystical items for dark rituals. These are not scenes from a horror movie, but real markets where every rule is broken. Welcome to our journey through the world's strangest markets, where you'll encounter the most surreal and unsettling trade practices imaginable. Ready to explore the 15 weirdest markets that defy your wildest expectations? Let's dive into our first shocking market, the Virgin Bride Market in Bulgaria. Nestled in Stara Zagora, Bulgaria, this market offers a glimpse into a deeply controversial tradition. In a country where modern values and gender equality are championed, the Virgin Bride Market remains a stark reminder of historical customs. Teenage girls, dressed in vibrant and provocative outfits, are paraded as commodities for potential suitors. Their virginity becomes a key factor in their value, with prices soaring to thousands of dollars. This market, maintained by the Kalaji community, raises uncomfortable questions about whether it represents a form of human trafficking or a preserved cultural tradition. Critics argue that it violates human rights and degrades women's dignity, while defenders see it as a means to secure futures for the girls involved. Is this a cultural relic we should discard or a harsh reality that we need to confront? Share your thoughts as we move on to another unique market. Next up is the love market in Sapa, Vietnam. Imagine a vibrant cultural celebration set against the backdrop of northern Vietnam's stunning mountains. Every Saturday night, Sapa Square transforms into a colorful venue where young men and women from ethnic groups like the Dao Mong and Hmong gather to find love. The market buzzes with the sounds of traditional flutes and lively chatter. Young men play love songs on their flutes, while girls respond with melodic songs of their own. The exchange of songs and dances creates a romantic and traditional way of communication. The love market has evolved into a popular tourist attraction, inviting visitors to experience its festive atmosphere and immerse themselves in local culture. Would you join the festivities and experience the charm of Sapa's love market? Imagine yourself surrounded by the magic of flutes and dancing in a truly unforgettable night. Our journey then takes us to Morocco, where the bride market offers a unique cultural experience. In the village of Amo Mitchell, the Berber bride market takes place amidst the vast North African landscape. Here, Berber girls dressed in bright traditional attire, with their eyes hidden behind masks, are introduced to potential suitors. This market is not just about finding a spouse but also a community event where families come together to interact and celebrate. The market culminates in a traditional wedding ceremony, complete with rituals to ward off evil spirits and ensure the bride's protection. The Berber Bride Market stands as a testament to the cultural richness and unique traditions of the Berber people. What do you think about the Berber Bride Market's blend of tradition and community celebration? In Shanghai, we find a very different kind of market, the marriage market. Every weekend, the city's large parks become a bustling scene of parents showcasing their children's details in hopes of finding them a suitable match. Stalls filled with information about height, weight, education, and job prospects are set up, and parents eagerly present their children's achievements. This market, though seemingly about parental love, raises questions about modern attitudes towards love and marriage. Is this market a practical solution to finding love or a troubling example of how arranged marriages are commodified? Let us know your thoughts as we explore more unusual markets. Moving to Togo, we encounter the LOM Witchcraft Market. Deep within Togo's forests lies this eerie and mystical market where voodoo practitioners seek items for spiritual rituals. The market is filled with strange and unsettling items like animal skulls, dry snake skins, and fossilized human bones. The atmosphere is a mix of eerie incense and the pungent smell of animal remains. These items are believed to possess supernatural powers, used by sorcerers to perform magic and solve life's problems. Would you dare to explore the mystical world of the LOM witchcraft market? Its blend of spirituality and mystery continues to attract those curious about the supernatural. Next, we visit the medicine market in China. Located in Guangzhou, 
The Qingping market is a controversial place where traditional Chinese medicine meets the illegal wildlife trade. Here, endangered animal parts are sold openly, challenging ethical boundaries. Crocodile heads, rhino horns, and tiger body parts are displayed, with claims of their medicinal benefits despite the significant health risks and the impact on wildlife conservation. Is this market a reflection of cultural practices or a troubling example of humanity's impact on nature? The Qingping market provokes critical thoughts about our relationship with wildlife. In India, we explore the market for marriageable women, known as IMA Kethal. This market in Impal is a symbol of Manipuri women's resilience and economic independence. Established in the 16th century, it was a response to the men's absence due to military service or labor. IMA Kethal is run entirely by women, who handle everything from sales to market management. The market not only supports families, but also showcases the strength and talent of Manipuri women. How does IMA Kethal reflect the changing roles of women in society? It stands as a powerful example of women's empowerment and community contribution.